rock stars. This is Alex Borden coming at you from the Midwest, the Riff Factory in the Midwest, and um, I got a new song I'm working on. I've actually been getting a lot of requests for it, and now I can see why because it's a pretty catchy song. So uh, this one goes out to all you guys who requested it, and um, have fun with this. Uh, for the intro, you want to start on. So intro, you want to start uh, with a two note power chord uh, on your fourth string second fret. Okay. If you don't know power chords yet, you got some homework to do. Okay. You can check out my video on movable shapes that explains it, uh, or you know just Google it and there's plenty of information out there. If you know power chords, let's keep going. So two note power chord, fourth string second fret. That's where your first finger goes. And the other note, I usually use my pinky on the next uh, note, that would be your third string, fourth fret in this case. That's your first chord in the intro. Okay, for the second chord, you want to keep that note that you've been playing with your pinky, and you're going to move to a new bass note, okay? So that would be, the new bass note would be your fifth string, fourth fret. Okay, that's chord number two. Hit that two more times. And then you go to a chord that you're used to seeing in a place you're used to playing it. This would be your three note power chord on string five, fret two. And then with two frets lower, would be open a power chord. Zero, two, two. From the open A string. So all together in slow mo is like. So that would be your intro, and the verse, you do the same thing, except uh, when you start singing, you want to do that riff twice. Okay, and then on the second time, after the second time, you're going to transition to a low E chord, and then a B chord, that would be on your fifth string, second fret. And then the same chord shape, two frets higher. You can add your uh, second finger on the second string, fifth fret. If you want that minor sound, kind of nice. And then you need to open a power chord. Okay. So do this twice. On the second time. Then go back to the original riff. And then it's time for the pre-chorus and the chorus. Here it is. Check it out. Um, pre-chorus is very short. Um, You start with an open A chord. So after the A, you need a B power chord that would be on your fifth string, second fret, and then an open E power chord. Zero two two from your sixth string. Okay, that's it for the pre-chorus. And the chorus um, is actually a chord progression we played before. Is that one progression that we played only once in the verse? So we open the E. B, okay, and then uh, do, ever, do it however many times um, you need to get to the chorus and then back to the intro riff after that, alright? After that you got a pretty cool solo and uh, some bridge chords too, so here's that. Alright, the outro is, uh, you know, begins with that intro thing. Um, and 
and then Billy Joel starts singing, uh, just like a verse, and you actually go through that chord progression uh, two times. Um, so two times, and then you start a chorus. So it's kind of like half a verse. Um, so you do the chorus, and uh, then you tag it a couple times at the end. Uh, that part where it goes over and out, over and out. And then end it with the intro. So, I think that's about right. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, yeah, leave comments below. Leave subscriptions up there. And, um, hey, tell your friends how much you love me. Um, I'm Alex Bourne. Tschüss.